Okay. <clears throat> this is a continuation of reading the New Testament. This is known as the Bible, the Holy Bible. And it says LSM at the bottom of this. And we're going to read this. Okay. We had just read Matthew chapters 1 to 3. We got to 317, as it says right there, 7, 317. And now we're starting into chapter 4, Matthew. This is towards the beginning of the Bible. We're going to read the rest of this Bible, God willing, unless something stops us. Okay. And I'll show you my help when I can offer help. I'm not going to just read it for verbatim, verbatim, but like this Bible is the LSM, it says on it, and it has this person's notes. I'm going to give my notes and try to help you to understand what the words really say here and there. And you can read it verbatim for what it really says. And you'll know that when I'm talking, it's not written here. And my name's John Birmingham. Okay. Chapter 4 of Matthew. Tested. Ooh, sounds terrible. Jesus was tested. Okay. Then, and what happened before was he was baptized and God came out of the heavens. God, who does no wrong, he's perfect and good. He created all that's good. And his voice said, a voice out of heaven, which was God, this is my son, the beloved, in whom I have found my delight. As soon as he was baptized by John the Baptist. And it shows all these other generations. Starting from Adam, whose son was Abraham. And had all these other sons, 42 generations down. Until Joseph, his father, had Jesus. And that's what happened up in Matthew 1, chapters 1 through 3. And now we're starting into chapter 4 after he was just baptized. Excuse me. He was baptized by John the Baptist. And that's in the previous video. Or a continuation if this is all one really long video which i'm not gonna do one day is the plan to read through all of this okay so let's continue with this i'm gonna, I'm gonna get this from a different angle I don't hurt myself too much or, or at all okay chapter four matthew then Jesus was led up into the wilderness by the Spirit to be tempted by the devil. Thank God in heaven that the lowercase put T-H-E-D-E-V-I-L putting the actual devil in the same category as common demons and devils who are, supposedly are 33 million of who fell with that the devil when they are cast out of heaven for leading lives of unrighteousness and that will be talked about later in the Bible 10,000 by 10,000 angels in heaven that's 100 million and a third of them fell with the devil 33 million of them okay Jesus was led up into the wilderness wilderness by the spirit to be tempted by the devil. 
And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he became hungry. He is capitalized, as we talked about, because God and Jesus are kind of the same, but God is really... The omniscient one who created everything knows about all past, present, future, and everything. And it's the Holy Trinity, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And they're kind of all the same. In some ways, it's really just God who created everything, but Jesus will always be there. He was the only man to have lived without sin. He died for our sins, suffered and died for our sins, so we'd be forgiven and get into heaven. So we capitalize H-E because there's only one man, God, who was not a man. Jesus and God, considering it's Jesus, God is capitalized because we're made in his image and likeness. We're made to look like him. So he's the original he. He was the only one, or the one who was the original he, just God. And he created, you know, time on earth and as we age and Supposedly, there's no time in heaven. We'll see one day, and it talks about all of it in the Bible. Okay, let's read. So Jesus was led into the wilderness by the Spirit and tempted to be tempted by the devil. Oh, horrible. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward, he became hungry. Wow, that's when he went into the desert, apparently. It says didn't say the desert here in particular but that's what people talk about when Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and he became hungry afterward is what it says in, in this interpretation and the tempter you know the bad guy don't even want to mention him and as a name because he may tempt or trick trick people if they give him too much power and the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, speak, that these stones may become loaves of bread. The mean devil said, If you are the Son of God, speak, that these stones may become loaves of bread. In his horrible way of speaking, that he tries to trick people and tempt people. He's a lot smarter than the average person, so he's bad. Look out for him. But God is way infinitely more powerful, infinitely more powerful and beautiful than the devil. And the devil will one day burn for all eternity in the lake of fire for what he has done, what he, what he did. He created all that's bad for us humans. And he made us sin tricked us and tempted Adam and Eve into eating from the tree that made them know about sin so they'd sin and he was a jerk a really bad jerk and he's gonna burn in the lake of fire in hell for all eternity as his punishment and we don't have to be afraid of him because God is infinitely more powerful when God is with us the devil can't hurt us he can't trick or tempt us when when we're protected by God as as much but we sin we can't get away from sin and we sin a little bit we got to try to be good as good as we can and then we don't sin as much okay if you're the son of god he said if you are the son of god speak that these stones may become loaves of bread but jesus he capital h e answered and said it is written man shall not live on bread alone but on every word that proceeds out through the mouth of God. That is a really important line of scripture. It is written that man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out through the mouth of God. So by following the Bible, we live better according to good and not just relying on our conscience that we all have that we're always all given to us by god our bodies as a temple for god um to do all the good that we naturally do just having a conscience we've got to try to do more that we got to work, do more than that we have to do more than just that just relying on that alone and living however we people feel those mean people we can't do that 
So <clears throat> can't just live on bread on food alone. But on every word that proceeds out through the mouth of God. And that's to, that's shown to us in the Bible how to live. Then the devil took him into the holy city and set him on the wing of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, cast yourself down, for it is written to his angels, he shall give charge concerning you, and on their hands they shall bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. Well, I'd have to really understand. If you are the Son of God, cast yourself down, for it is written to his angels, he shall give charge concerning you, and on their hands they shall bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, again, it is written, you shall not test the Lord your God. He said something mean to him. And so Jesus said, you shall not test the Lord your God. And again, the devil took him, took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these will I give you if you will fall down and worship me. That's what he was trying to do. Get him to fall down to him. Because he, the devil's a common man now. After he was cast out of heaven, he's a man. He's just a man like any other man. And you don't, you don't worship any man as a false god. That's what this Bible explains. We are not supposed to bow down to and worship any man. It's all for the glory of God and Jesus and the honor of our parents. To honor our parents and respect our parents. And be kind to others. We can be kind to others. But um, really, if they make people bow to kings and stuff, it's really for the glory of God is what it's all supposed to be. The other stuff is just false idolatry trying to worship false gods and that's wrong and bad and it's the work of the devil and the devil tried to get him to worship him right there here in 9 it says and he said to him all these I will give to you all the kingdoms of the earth you know all the world the earthly pleasures all the things that are of the earth that we that are we sometimes mistakenly think that are so good he said all these I will give to you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Go away, Satan. I hate saying that word. I don't know if it's okay to hate anything, but I don't like saying it. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. See? Then the devil left him, and behold... Angels came and ministered to Jesus, to him. He listened to Jesus. Jesus told him to go away, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him, to Jesus. The king's ministry, the beginnings of the ministry. I just got a good um, comment. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to take a little, well, I was going to take a little break and see what that comment is, but uh, it'll have to wait. It's a good comment. Probably. I think somebody was nice. He said the somebody just commented on my YouTube videos selfish thing um, I'm going to keep reading you can 
see these videos on my YouTube channel or if they are in some way this this long video or these videos you can watch it in um, maybe um, some other way in the future if God allows that to be shown allows this to be shown okay I'm gonna stop the video right here and turn my internet off and just do the Bible because there are these annoying things showing up on my phone okay